Hi guys, Benjamin Franklin is with us. Also, special guest, my dog Jesse. She's there, chilling. She's the coolest little three-month-old puppy I've ever seen in my life, and that's why I knew I needed to have her because she's just so chill, just like her dad. I'll take autographs after the video, but guys. I wanted to share with you some advice, particularly to guys like me who kind of just started working out relatively recently in the grand scheme of space and time, you know, like it hasn't even been two years into my fitness journey as an adult. And, um, I've, I've learned so much shit guys. Like, God damn, I've made so many mistakes. I've made like half of the mistakes possible. And the only other reason I haven't made the other half of mistakes is because I'm not on gear. But yes, these mistakes are what make me a better lifter. They're what make me stronger, honestly, because if I kept making these same mistakes, I'd be just fucking dead. I would have so many injuries and life would be over. I would probably have uh, died on a squat by now or something. But, but I want to share with you some advice on how to grow your back because my back has evolved like my brain has evolved so therefore my back has evolved it's funny how that works the mind muscle connection guys it's so real it's so real in bodybuilding and training in training to get big muscles the mind muscle connection is so important it's fucking crazy how important it is like the reason in particular that i have such good triceps even though I don't even train them that hard, like in, in, ret in relativity to like how I train my chest and shoulders and my biceps, even like I don't even train my triceps that hard and they're still the, my best body part, but it's just because I'm able to feel every single head work. I'm able to build that connection in my mind whenever I do an exercise. Yes. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know exactly how I'm feeling. I know I'm getting <clears throat> a better stretch on the muscle this time around. And that's how I'm starting to feel toward my back. And it's starting to like physically show on my body. I'll put a picture up of me in the past and me in the present, you know, like I just, I'm so proud of what I've been able to do. And I've gotten so much good advice on the internet and also from just people who work out. And yeah, I want to impart some of that on you guys today. So let's bring up the Google doc of all my stuff. If I could just like not have my phone be in the way that my phone's my camera by the way but uh yeah so these are just a couple general things there's there's a lot of stuff i could talk about but uh i'm gonna make it concise because i have a tendency to be a rambling idiot so have at least one heavy movement or maybe even two have an exercise that you can go hard on guys like for me Personally, the one I always come back to is bent over row with the, with the dumbbell. Like the single arm dumbbell row is the king. And it's because I feel such a good stretch. It takes my muscles through such a good range of motion. I just love it. It's something I used when I first started working out. And it's something I still use today. Like I've taken it out of my back rotation a couple times. And I feel like I've genuinely suffered for it. Whenever I use this exercise, I'm always able to kind of increase the weight over time. And even if I'm not increasing the weight, I can still increase the repetitions that I do at a lighter weight and really focus on getting that lat stretch. You know, the lat latismus dorsi, as it's sometimes referred to. But yes, it's just my favorite exercise for my back, personally. That... And I'm sorry, I know my, my everything's so noisy in my room. Also, Jessie is just like the cutest little thing in the freaking world. Oh my God. I just want to pet her face so bad. So the other one that I have that I can go relatively heavy on is a lat pull down. You know, I used to do like shorter. Well, I used to do less reps, maybe like six reps for kind of heavier weights on lat pull downs, but I kind of switched that. That used to be my second big heavy movement that I would do, but I switched it to a lighter weight, really going heavy on the eccentric, like two second eccentric hold up to the top, like explosive coming down, real slow, juicy coming on top there. 
that sounds so fucked up but it's helped me grow my back so much guys like the pump i feel after that is fucking unreal it's unreal it's wonderful so i definitely recommend guys have at least a couple heavy exercises in the rotation because you know we gotta grow we gotta lift heavy shit in order to get big muscles sometimes you know what i'm saying at least on a couple sets to failure now i already mentioned this a couple times the mind muscle connection is so fucking important guys it's so important so important and i'm gonna attribute this to another point i have listed on the doc i learned mind muscle connection in the back by doing pull-ups pull-ups i didn't do wide grip at first i did kind of the neutral grip or supinated grip pull-ups and i learned on a pull-up assisted machine at my gym at the time and it has been such a huge back builder mind muscle connection railway builder building those fucking nerve pathways in my noggin to link up with my back and it has been fabulous guys learn how to do pull-ups i don't give a fuck if you can't do a pull-up now you better be able to do a pull-up in at least a year you have all the time in the world to learn how to do pull-ups they are like the best back exercise Besides some of the ones that I mentioned previously. I honestly, pull-ups might be the best back exercise. We can debate politics about that all we want. But all I know is that personally, ever since I learned how to do pull-ups, I've gotten so much stronger in my back. My back is by far my strongest body part. And I attribute so much of that success and that power to pull-ups. Just doing it. Like practicing it twice a week. Or maybe even more if you want to accelerate that process, you know. But I did it twice a week. During my PPL split, whenever I would do pull, I would start at the beginning of the workout when I had the most energy to expend. I would practice on the pull-up machine, just practicing the form. Okay, how do we build up these muscles so they get stronger and I can eventually use my own body weight? Today at the gym, I did eight heavy fucking pull-ups going super hard on the eccentric. I've been focusing a lot on eccentric movements lately. It's been lovely. But I was doing a pull-up, boom, coming up quick real slow on the descent shit burned man it burned like fire and i never would have even thought like two years ago i would be able to do one pull up i'm doing eight of these bitches like nothing it's fabulous it will build your back up so much it's great okay experiment with different exercises this is another one i have listed so true i've been experimenting a lot lately like I see these youngsters on the TikToks and the YouTubes doing this big lat pull down thing where they come down with their lats with the single arm cable, you know, boom, coming right down to this and squeezing their body like this and then coming back up. It's like, yeah, bro, you get such a deep stretch that way. And I was like, ah, it seems fucking nerdy. And then I did it for myself and I'm like, oh my God, I feel my lats so much. It's like me and my lat are one physical being. I can feel it. It's speaking to me when I do this exercise. And then I hop off the, the bench there and I'm just like blowing up down here. The pump is crazy. So don't be afraid to experiment with exercises because if one exercise, you're not necessarily feeling it in your head, man, I don't think this exercise is helping me, helping me get juicy. Well, fortunately we have about other 95 different exercises you can try. So experiment. You don't like doing the, the V-bar cable row? Do a bent over barbell row. Do a bent over dumbbell row. Do fucking, I don't know, T-bar rows. Just experiment, guys. It's fun to experiment. Even if you've had a good routine for a while, it's still good to throw things around. Just screw it. Experiment. I already mentioned the pull-ups. Okay. Here, this is really important. I know I keep talking about going hard, doing all this crap. I'm making it sound like it's all sunshine and rainbows, which it is. But don't injure yourself. Don't be like me trying to lift weights that's way too heavy. I remember I was doing this in my old gym. I was doing like an 80-pound easy bar curl. I felt so strong even though my form was terrible. I was like, oh, God, I'm so fucking strong, guys. And 
Something twinge in my left forearm. Wow, what's going on here? Uh, never has felt better, ever. It has never recovered. What did I do? I don't even know. But I remember that easy bar curl. I remember it like it was yesterday, dude. Something hasn't been the same since. Now, I know I'm mentioning a bicep exercise when I'm talking about back. But now whenever I'm doing something like a V-bar cable row, I can feel my forearm twinge. You know, it's not necessarily a killer, but it's there. And I'm wondering like, damn, how much time do I have until this starts to really hurt and until this starts to really affect my training, you know, because this definitely affects my arm training. Like do, I, I can't curl as heavy as I want because sometimes it just hurts too bad. And I fucked myself and I could totally imagine like this could be a huge detriment to any kind of rowing movement I have because like it or not, guys, we use our biceps in rowing motions. It's just what the body does. Okay. And if you fucking hurt your body, you're not going to be able to train as hard. So don't hurt yourself. Don't ego lift. Don't be a dumb dinglehead like me. Now, final point, I'm trying to make this video nice and concise. Each, I said each, eat your protein. Get sleep. Recover well. Guys, training back, oftentimes you train back heavy and you train it hard. You need to eat in order to capitalize on these gains. Don't go home and slack off and be like, oh, you know, you know, I don't really feel like cooking right now. Bitch, you bust out that grilled chicken breast and you fucking eat it. Don't slack off. Your back is big. It's a wide volume of muscle and you need to feed it. You need to feed your body. And this goes just with training in general. You need to adequately get the protein in that you need. Whatever it is, 0.8 grams of, of protein per pound of body weight. I don't fucking know. I'm not, a, I'm not a scientist or anything, okay? I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy who drinks Monster Energy drinks and throws some barbells around sometimes. But... That's all I really have to say. Jesse, do you have anything to say? She does not. She is a dog. She is physically incapable of speech. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a blast. And uh, I will see you. Thank you for watching again.